Hello, Philip Hinkle here again, back to bring you another in our advanced series of tutorials for Mercalli version 4 SAL+. Today I would like to dive into the storyboard feature. We are actually going to use our media bin to work on a storyboard, so let's go ahead and activate that. You're probably wondering, what does the storyboard do? It allows us to take one clip, create a number of instances of in and out points and export it all as one file of just the sections we want processed. We can bring other clips in as well. It doesn't have to all be the same long clip. It can be multiple smaller clips. But what it does is it allows you to cut those up into little pieces and then when you export your footage it all goes out as one long file which you can bring into your editing system and cut up and use as needed. So you don't have to keep swapping back and forth every time you want to stabilize a single clip. You can do all your stabilizing and export one file into your editing system and then cut it up from there. That's the workflow I like. You can see I've already got some footage in Mercalli. I'm going to come back and find the start of my bike ride, which is right here. I'm going to set an endpoint. And instead of playing through everything, I'm just going to drag it. For the purposes of time, we don't need to spend a lot of time tweaking it. We just need some samples to play with. So I'm going to set an out point. Now, I'm going to just select quick repair for my CMOS. Yes, there are some other issues in there with CMOS we could spend more time on. We'll do a tutorial down the road on that feature. For this, we want it to be reasonably quick so we can get through the tutorial without too much labor on it. So now I've got one clip set with an endpoint and out point that's going to be analyzed. I could hit analyze if I want and I'd have to wait for it before I could go to my next clip but we have an option in Mercalli where we can do a batch analyze and it will analyze everything in my media bin that I've got checked all at one time then when we get back it's all done we can export as you can see over here in my media bin this is my master clip if I click on the name of the file I can change it so I'm going to change this one not to change I'm going to call this start of ride this allows me, if I need to come back at a later time and retweak this or retune the settings, I can easily find the section that I want to work on. Okay, we've got our first section set up, so I'm going to take the same clip. I'm going to hit the plus button on my media bin, and now you can see I've added a second instance of that file. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide my out point out of the way. I'm going to slide down in here a little ways. Let's do the traffic light. Okay, I'm going to set my endpoint, scrub through that as I go through the traffic light, and up the hill. That looks pretty good. Now I'm going to take my out point. I can slide it back, or I could have just selected the out cue here. And once again, I'm not going to hit analyze. I'm just going to leave my quick repair on, my Sony AS100V, which I already had pre selected. And now I've got a second instance. We're going to call this one stoplight. Okay, let's have a third instance. So we're going to click on there. We now have a third instance. Drag my out point out just to give me some room to work. And let's drag through here. We're going to go down the hill and we're going to make a turn just up here a little bit farther ahead. All right, we are around the corner. I'm going to set my out point. Once again, I'm going to leave my settings as they are. I'm going to call this file turn corner. Okay, so let's add a fourth iteration of it. Drag my out cue down. You don't really have to drag your out cue down. You can always reset your in and out. I've just found it easier to get that out of the way in case I accidentally forget to set one. Things don't go crazy on me because sometimes I forget to do that. Okay, now we're coming up onto a section of really bad road, which we probably would want to really process with our rolling shutter fixes and our CMOS corrections. But for this video, we're not going to, but I do want to show a little bit of that footage. So I'm going to get into my bumpy road under repair, I'm going to set an out point, and we're going to call this one bumpy road. All right, let's go on to our next clip. I know there's a really cool section back in here where I get back to our trails in our community. So now I'm on a bike trail. I'm going to drag my out over, set my in here, and let's get into our bike trail a little bit. You can see that could use some correction, but again, we're just here to make a storyboard and show you how that works. But that's a little bit of the bike trail I was riding on that day. 
whoops, I accidentally hit my cursor down there, so I'm just going to pull it back in here. That looks like far enough. I'm going to leave my out right there. Okay, leave everything else as it is. We're going to call it trail one. Let's hit the plus key and we have another iteration. I'm going to slide my timeline down and I know there's a funny section in here where I stopped to take a rest and get a drink. There I am. That's kind of cute. So I just want to include that on my video. So I'm going to set my end point and let's play that through. That's a little too slow. There I am. Let me zoom in on that. I can work on that a little bit better. Okay, there's my endpoint. I'm going to look and mug for the camera. It was kind of cold that day. It was in November in Wisconsin. I'm all bundled up. I'm kind of being silly. I thought it was kind of fun to give the camera a drink of water. Okay, that's enough of me. So let's set our out point. We're going to leave everything else just the way it was. And I'm going to call this part silly. Okay, let's add our next spot that we're going to work on. Slide that out. Let's actually zoom out on our timeline. I think I'm going to end my ride now. So let's find the end of our clip. And here I am getting close to my house. I'm going to pass a guy right there. So I'm going to hit the end point. And let's scrub through that real quick. And we're back home. So if I zoomed in on that a little bit, we can see what the content was. I'm going to pass that guy, I'm going to blow through the stop sign at my corner, and we are home. All right, now I've got a lot of clips lined up here. How many do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven clips lined up. Now, just to show you, if I want to, I could go out and import one more file. Okay, let's find another random clip. Let's select that one. Not sure what's on it. Let's load it up. Oh, there I am. Let's find something cool. Okay, flying between the two memorials. Let's put an in there. It's just some random footage from my drone. And that looks kind of cool. We'll just save that. I'm just doing this to show you that you can add these clips from other areas too. It doesn't have to all be from the same clip. If I wanted to call that one, I could call it memorial. And I would know what it is if I needed to come back in here. Now say I wanted to go back here to my trail clip. I can come back here and say maybe I wanted to include more of it. So I'm going to zoom into that timeline a little bit and say I wanted to make that go to right there. Okay, so I can drag my out point and now that is updated. Now here's the cool part. Instead of analyzing every clip one at a time, taking the time and then resetting everything, we can come over here in this little green button, analyze all selected media bin items, or you could press F4. If I select that, it's going to go through everything that I have checked in my media bin and it's going to do the video analyzation all on them all at one time as a batch. I'm going to let that run and finish up and we will be back shortly when it's done. Okay, our batch analyze is done and as you can see if I click through on any of my clips there are no analyzed messages down here so they are ready to go. If I just wanted to watch one, let's say the arrive home, I can click on the play button and there we are. All stabilized and looking pretty good. Okay, it's time to export. Let's go to export stabilized media. I'm going to select export files into another directory and I'm going to go select where I want to put them. I'm going to put them on my external under ProDad, Mercalli 4, advanced and storyboard slide that up and click OK so we have a folder set up for our export I'm going to leave my quality at medium you can set it to high if you want to if these are really important clips but I have yet to find much difference between the high and the medium I always select medium for the work I've been doing it has been adequate but if you've got a very important project that maybe started on high-res files, maybe you're doing some 4K stuff, maybe you want to save as much as you can, you could select the larger file size. I'm going to select the medium, and this is where it's fun. I'm going to come over here and say Combine Videos. What's going to happen now is when I hit the Export button, it's going to take all eight of these clips. You can see here it says Start Export, eight files. All eight of these clips will now be exported into one long file that I can bring into my editing system and cut up and use in places as needed. One other thing to show you here on the export, you can export the videos as 
H.264 MP4 MOVs, ProRes, MJPEGs. There's multiple codecs you can export to, and you can also select to export the audio or not. I'm going to leave everything the way it is. I'm just going to say close. If we wanted to export a horizontal compare, we could do so, or we could export a vertical compare. Our exported file is going to look just like that. So don't select that unless that's what you're after. I'm just going to click on View Result, and now when I click Export, and I'm going to enter Storyboard Export, and click Save. Okay, it is now exporting our files. When it's all done, we'll be able to see our final file, or we can just go right and import it into our editing project in our edit system. That's about all I need to show you for the storyboard feature. It's very powerful and can help streamline your workflow for those times where you need to work on one clip and grab a bunch of pieces out of that clip or multiple clips, but you all are going to export everything into one project on, in your editing system. It makes that workflow easy and quick. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Hope you got something out of it, and we'll see you next time.